parents, Bryn and Charlie, it was really important to them that they reduced the drafts in their house and they made a, a warmer home for themselves, reduce their own carbon footprint and be a kind of example for their community. The clients chose a team comprising us, Earthwise Construction, as the main contractors, and then Eco Design Consultants as the architects, and Build Collective as the structural engineers. An NFIT project is the passive house standard for renovation. It's a German low energy building standard. For this project and a lot of our projects, we use the five principles of passive house design. That is good quality insulation, be that internally or externally applied. We look for a superior window, quite often that's triple glazing. We also try to eliminate where possible or at least reduce the thermal bridging within the fabric. And we also prepare a air tightness strategy for making the, the building as airtight as possible. And combined with that, we also provide a mechanical ventilation system that also incorporates heat recovery. From a structural perspective, working on Enerfit and Passive House projects can be quite different to other projects, mainly in the level of detail that you need to go into when you're designing these kind of projects and thinking about particularly the use of steelwork and making sure that's being used when desperately necessary and trying to use things like timber and um, other materials that have less thermal bridging potential. The clients did many years of research actually, you know, they went to visit the National Self-Build Centre in Swindon, which I think is a good first port to call because it's got lots of stalls around lots of different energy um, saving measures. They went and visited many different passive house projects. They even stayed in a passive house B&B so that they could experience how MVHR felt. They went to Birmingham and visited a uh, level six zero carbon home there, which had an open day and they'd also seen it on the telly before. So that was nice to actually see it in person. They really did do their research and it's really paid off because they're going to have a wonderful home as a result. With an existing building, you're dealing with a lot of potential thermal bridges from existing construction that it's, unless you're going to significantly modify it, uh, will give you thermal bridges. So we look closely at those details to improve them, insulate them or isolate them where possible. It feels very exciting to be involved in an NFIT project. It's the first NFIT we've done. We've done one certified passive house before. So it's a new experience for us, although we bring some of our skills from doing a passive house. So it's certainly a challenge but an exciting challenge and we're looking forward to uh, delivering the project for our clients. On this project, uh, the main challenge was um, knowing what the existing building construction was before we started. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I was... We had assumed that it was all cavity wall masonry and um, actually when, when it came to site, some of the sections of wall were solid masonry and we had a bit of a mixture of both and strange things happening with solid walls supported on cavity wall. We took the roof off, all the roof tiles, we left the roof trusses on. We took all the first floor joists out. We dug the ground floor down nearly 1.2 metres and we demolished what was like a detached little garage. At this stage now, we've brought the floor back up uh, put all the insulation in and the new concrete floor on top. We've done the insulated isoquick raft for the garage. We've done the floor joists and now we're basically looking at uh, preparing for the windows to go in. So that's putting the plywood boxes in that the windows are going to sit into. And then it's building the timber frame structure for the new extension. So that's with the timber eye joists. And then after that's done, it's on to fitting the windows. Once they're fitted, we can then get on with all the external wall insulation. At the same time as we're doing that, we'll be insulating and doing the air tightness on the existing roof of the house. And then it's on to plasterboard and plastering, the sort of internal fit-out works, the first fix, electrics and plumbing, and then the external finishing work, so the render on the, on the external walls and to completion. Well, with this project, I like to think that we've successfully worked collaboratively with the, both the clients and the rest of the design team to explore a number of options, techniques and details to help the clients choose their optimum strategy for achieving their benefit goal. The most satisfying thing about working on this project has been changing this building and, and developing it to give the clients their forever home. It's been working with um, changing the spaces to make them how the clients want to use them 
and yeah, and give them a place that they can grow all together in.